back with some more Star Wars crap. How's it going, Legion? And uh, let's see if we can not have problems with this video, with this fucking game. Let's just get into it. Let's check it out. See what it's all about. Is my audio working? The fucking audio is working. Get over it. Now let's get into this. Attention, Bespin. It's looking pretty cool. Oh shit! I thought he was gonna go through it. What up, Hondo? Got a score to settle. What up, bro? Oh shit, dude, look at these fucking maps, okay. This doesn't make me like the game anymore. But I love Star Wars. Uh, I like it how, wow, this is really cool. Hey, it's Wheelick. Of course she's the Rebellion, because she's a slave, normally. Oh shit, shield generators, you never see that in the movies. They didn't have the budget for that back then. <laughs> Get wrecked. Who the fuck is that guy? Oh shit. Cloud City, baby. Get wrecked, noob! Oh. Evac, evac. Go, go, go! Run for it! Carbonation? Oh, it's gonna be epic! Bispin. I don't mind the copyright. I love that music. Oh, so good. Incredible. It's going to be great. Um, for you guys. I personally do not like Battlefield. Um, I don't like Star Wars FPS. I, FPS is like, take something that no one gives a fuck about. World War II, soldiers, whatever. As far as gameplay. And give it the FPS. Because that's what everybody wants, right? Star Wars, I... I feel like you're kind of missing out. I think Star Wars needs to be like that badass open world RPG kind of thing that makes it good. We haven't really had one of those. We have Knights of the Old Republic, which is one of my favorite games, but still, it's dated and it's old. And it'd be really cool. Like, I remember 1313 was coming out, I believe is the name of it. And I was like, eh, you know, who, who, it's, Star Wars without Jedi or Sith is like Dragon Ball Z without Saiyans or Frieza. It's, it's just kind of whatever. It's plain. Or without Goku, realistically. I think if you took, like, the world of, like, Mass Effect... Not the world, but the design of Mass Effect... And, like, Witcher... And... Maybe the Horizon Zero Dawn... And gave it that open-world RPG feel that's incredible looking with that... And not the bogged down... Like, Mass Effect's cool, but the... But the movement... Because I know it's Bioware that makes Mass Effect, right? And they're also the ones who made Knights of the Republic. You can't interact a lot with the environment as far as, you know, you don't have the free... Like, Witcher has, like, all those animations and climbing and stuff like that. It's very involved, and Horizon does as well. And it'd be cool to have an RPG with those kind of two elements in a Star Wars world. I think that'd be really fun. As far as an FPS goes, not my thing. Not a Star Wars FPS, especially when it has, like... I've watched a lot of people play it, and they get really bored of it real quick. And the controls, all kinds of errors, like using a controller with the flying mechanics doesn't even work for, like, when I was watching it. Who knows if they patched it. But still, with that kind of problems with it, I'm looking at DICE, Lucasfilm, EA, and Frostbite, and you have problems with your game. Unacceptable. So with that, with that note, I'm going to end it right there. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for hanging out. If you want to talk or discuss anything about Star Wars or anything else on this on my channel, you can leave a comment down below. Love to see, love to hear all of you. Uh, once again, my name is Azrael, and I'll see you on whatever video I'm doing next. And if you want to like, subscribe, or share, remember, it's completely up to you. I do appreciate all the support. Well, later, guys, and thanks for the 161, possibly more right now, subs on this channel. I do appreciate it. Later, guys.